All right, guys, welcome back to Realism Overhaul. Now, our space program has made some advances thus far. We've put Kerbals in space, we've put satellites in orbit of the Earth, we've sent satellites to the moon, and we've sent a probe to land on the moon's surface. But after doing all that, I, I have neglected to even look at the contracts that were available. For instance, there's contracts for first artificial satellite, which is pretty funny considering there's something on the moon right now, um, and sending up sounding rockets uh, for 250 kilometers and 2,400 kilometers. Um, and then there's a suborbital flight contract, stuff like that, which I have all done before. So I felt now is the time to accept these contracts and get them out of here, get the funds secured, and then move on from there. I don't know. I, co I just completely forgot that contracts exist, uh, existed when I started the game. I just started doing my own thing, like I, I knew what I wanted to do. <laughs> I neglected to even look at the contracts in Korea. So the first thing we're going to build is the sounding rocket. And uh, when I started out the game, this is the first thing I built was a sounding rocket similar to what you're seeing me build here. But I didn't have the craft file saved anymore. I tend to delete them when I don't need them anymore. Uh, so pretty much. I'm just building this small sounding rocket just to sort of get my bearings on what I wanted to do. And you'll see here I, I kind of hecked up the staging, <laughs> it just blows up, but I quick built another one. It only takes a, a day to build and there's, they're really inexpensive. So this one, uh, the fins are keeping it pretty stable by making it spin. However, when it gets to the less dense areas of the atmosphere, the Kraken tends to take it. <laughs> like right now. Don't ask, I don't know how it happens. But essentially, that works. So, let's strip those fins off and then put this thing on top of a bigger sounding rocket. Because we need this to go much higher. Much, much higher. 250 kilometers and then 2,400 kilometers. And I'm going to use the same sort of idea as what I've been doing with all the satellites and all the rockets I've launched for this one. And that is an AJ-10 for the upper stage and one of the RD rockets on the bottom stage. And I have um, unlocked a lot more parts. Uh, a few different of the science nodes became completely researched by the time I was doing this, but I haven't really looked at any of the new parts quite yet. I know there's a few new engines. But, we're gonna send this up now. And everything should go perfectly, as it never does. <laughs> uh, here we have a staging area, which flipped the rocket completely upside down. <laughs> Luckily, it was already out of the atmosphere, so we could save it. And then I have the RCS set to just keep us spinning to stay make us more stable. However, um, when you mess up the staging, uh, not really a staging. When you mess up the separation as much as I do, RCS doesn't even matter because you'll be going haywire. Luckily, uh, it, it worked. It was exactly the height I need to fulfill the two sounding rocket contracts I had. So what's next is a satellite. And I didn't want to just use the same rocket, and not only because I accidentally deleted that file too, uh, but because I, I wanted to make something sim uh, more simple. I wanted just two engines to make it into orbit, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, the satellite on top of this is a ScanSat satellite. I think DMagic made this mod, uh, but you can scan the surface of celestial bodies. In this case, this is a radar, uh, and I want to scan the Earth with it. And later, I'm going to be sending these to the moon and to any other body I want to investigate. You will easily hear the new rocket. It's a very, very simple design, just two stages. <laughs> and every single time um, I release the payload, it sends it into this spin, just like the SciComm, just like the SciComm uh, launch vehicle. But you'll see here, uh, I first built the rocket without the payload on top, without the satellite on top, just to see. And we made it into orbit with 500 meters per second delta V to spare, which is more than enough to deorbit this stage. So I have another one on the way with the actual satellite on top of the rocket, and that's what we're going to send up here. And actually, yep, 
Every time, every time, it, it'll spin like this. Even when the decoupler force is set to zero, zero out of 100 force, it will still send it into a spin like this. Um, unfortunately, this launch, with the satellite attached, it did not make it into orbit. It ran out of fuel before it got there. So what I needed to do was edit the design a little bit. I did a little bit more research on the first stage engine and made the tanks a little bit bigger. So it's a more efficient and has a little bit more fuel. And that's what this launch is here. fairings deploy and then we eject the satellite which we're reducing the spin ever so slightly there I'm gonna kick in this new engine the asterisk engine which I happen to like a lot it has unlimited ignitions and it from what I've seen it doesn't even need to eulage but right here we're gonna remove the satellite and actually deploy the solar panels get the RCS up and running and then we're gonna try to scan using radar I think I'll notice right here, um, it doesn't work. And that's because of an, uh, an oversight I made. It doesn't work over 500 kilometers. And I was orbiting at around 700 kilometers, so. Oh, and then I noticed these contracts that popped up after that, which would be a polar satellite and a satellite with solar panels. And that's the exactly the launch that I had done <laughs> after I did it. So I send up another rocket, and this time I put it within 500 kilometers height, deorbited that stage, and now I should be able to scan. So we have two of these in orbit now. And here we're waiting. And actually, one of the contracts uh, for the polar orbit, we needed to have an inclination between 85 and 95. And when I sent up that rocket, my inclination was 80. So I was five degrees off in inclination. And I used all the fuel I could and all of the RCS I had on the vehicle. And it only brought it up to 84 degrees inclination. So I wasn't able to successfully complete the polar orbit contract, which would have given me 15,000 more funds. But I was able to be at a low enough altitude to do this. And this is the radar scan of Earth that I completed in the polar orbit. Well, almost polar orbit. I can't wait to send this to the moon and then to other bodies. And I think this actually will get upgraded into other scans and we can look for biomes and uh, we can look for ore and stuff like that. But. We're gonna save that for next time with more contracts. Thank you for watching and peace out.